In today's video, we are going to be stuffing this mosaic letter. Um, normally, this letter would be filled with lights, but I don't have lights yet, so I wanted to see how it would go with stuffing it with balloons. So we're going to stuff that with balloons. We got um, a mix of different shades of red. I got this kit from Michael's, and then I also have black 11 inch. So we're going to try that. I have a few white ones in my inventory. Um, we're going to stuff that. We're going to try and do a baby shower table setup, and then maybe even make a couple of one to two centerpieces. Yeah. We'll see how the day goes. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is blow up all your balloons. I've used about 35 to 40 balloons, blowing them up and tying them together in pairs. Now, once you have a good amount of 12 inch and five inch balloons, you're going to want to start laying out your 12 inch that you blew up to about six to seven inches and fill them into your form. I'm using glue dots to adhere the balloon to the bottom and the sides of the form, but you can use a low temperature glue gun that works as well. I just prefer using glue dots. Once I have all my larger balloons glued down, I am going to just stuff in and glue down my smaller five inch balloons that I blew up to three inches. And we're doing this in color blocks so that way it has a more cohesive look. So once I was done, I noticed that there were some gaps here on the sides. Um, and I think I needed more five inch to fill in the gas, but I didn't have any more, especially not in the red and the black. So I'm just going to use some accents to fill those spaces in, and you'll see that at the end of the video. So for our first centerpiece project, we are taking one half of these, um, I guess they're treat stands. They're just wooden treat stands that I got from Target, and we're covering one of them with mod Podge because we are going to uh, put a napkin on it. So this napkin, I guess this method is called Deco Podge, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but you're going to take a two-ply napkin, tear off one of the, um, the first layer, or the bottom layer, and then you're going to place your Mod Podge item face down so that way the pattern side is going to be the side that you see and then once you have that somewhat dry for about 10-15 minutes you're going to cut off all the excess of the napkin and just go around with some really sharp scissors once you have that done um, I would go back and make sure that your edges are adhered down around the edge of the treat stand so i'm just hot gluing the rest of this down but you could use the mosh posh to do that as well either way it works best but um, i'm just using hot glue to save time For our last project, we are going to cover this wooden letter from Michaels with uh, duct tape. Now, since this duct tape is patterned according to how I want my theme to be, that's why I'm using duct tape. You can, if you find polka dot duct tape or anything like that, you can use any type of duct tape that matches your theme. And all I'm doing is taking strips of duct tape. I actually have a piece of plastic underneath the letter and I'm just um, pressing the duct tape as firmly down on the letter as I can to make it smooth and then cutting off the excess of the duct tape um, so because you don't need um, the strips as long as, um, as they look in this video. <laughs> Um, and so once I have most of the letter covered, 
I am just going to flip this over in a minute and then we're going to um, show the other side and how you secure the back side. The good thing about this is it saves time on painting. You don't have to figure out how to paint a buffalo plaid pattern. It, it's really a lifesaver. So now I'm going to lift up the piece of wood, flip it over, and here I'm just flipping, folding over the edges and then cutting off the excess. And because this is a letter Y, it's a little tricky. So um, I'm going to have to get in to the middle sections a little more with my scissors, but you kind of get the concept on how this is going to work. So now we have our letter ready to go. We're going to use um, a pack of cardstock sheets that I got from the Dollar Tree. I think they come in three packs. So if you are cutting all four sides of your balloon box, you will have to get two packs of sheets so that you can cover all six sides, or all four sides, sorry. But this is just a four by 12 cardstock sheet. We're going to take our letter that we covered with. Um, so we come to the tape and we're going to hot glue it down to one of the sheets. So this will be one side of our um, balloon box. And we center it and just press it down the ground. And then, as you guys know, the hot glue will go very quickly. So just use this to kind of press it down a little more clearly. And then once you have that, you can cut down your 12 by 12 sheet to the size that you need to sort of fit into the balloon box. And then for the other sides, I'm just going to use um, two pieces of the garland that I'm using in the decorations. And that's going to be uh, the rest of our sheets. But here I'm pressing this in here to see how much I have to cut down, and I think I cut down about a half an inch on each side, and then a half an inch on the top because it wasn't really too tall for the box. But I'm gonna move on to the sheets so you guys can see that I just took this off the garland that I had, and take like one of the trees and one of the bears off of here. And sometimes when you're using the garland as a decoration that's not garland um, or not for its intended use, what I like to do is um, I'll, you know, if I'm gluing this down to a flat surface, I just glue it down and then um, and then fill in the holes with hot glue. So that way um, it's a little less noticeable that the piece was taken off the garland. People won't see the holes. Because the holes are kind of filled in. And it's going to go And then we'll do the same thing for the tree. And then once we have our tree down, um, we're going to head outside and put up everything so you can see the finish. The shower. Look. So this is our final look. As you can see, I tried to fill in the holes with some grass and greenery. And then we have our garland here on the backdrop. And then our balloon box with all the sides filled in and cut the side. So that way you can um, really see the balloon box as kind of like a baby block more than a balloon box and then our treats are on the stand. So, see you guys next time.